Hello everyone, Simon here. We're playing the Testament of Sherlock Holmes and we continue to be the crime-fighting genius that is Sherlock Holmes. Or at least that's what the game wants you to believe. What's really happening is that we're just clicking random things and the game pretty much solves itself while you do it. So let's continue and see what amazing crimes we can solve. Oh, what's this? More things to read? Oh, more newspapers. I guess I should read this. This is kind of interesting. Sherlock Holmes the Forger. Following the results of our investigations into Mr. Sherlock Holmes, it would appear that this sinister character once double-crossed the police in the engineer's thumb case. Indeed, it would seem that several of the criminals who took part in this story of forged money have reappeared and have been in contact with the famous detective. At the present time, our sources are attempting to uncover more detail, but it is clear... Wait a minute, how... You have... You don't have details, but it's clear? How does that work? If Sherlock Holmes has found these criminals, why has he not informed the police? Holmes... Says... Holmes... Says... Holmes... Says... Complexity in this case leaves no shadow of a doubt. But as a measure of fairness and the lack of tangible evidence, we prefer to continue our investigations. <laughs> this guy's pretty entertaining. Like there's, there's like there's no tangible evidence, but leaves no shadow of a doubt. Like what is even going on with this guy? Uh, this one we actually read, I, I believe. Yeah, we read that one. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Holmes says. So should we look around some more? Like, there's newspapers all the time. And what are these bullet holes in the wall? Uh, I thought there was a blanket on that chair. So, I mean, it's this is a kind of an adventure game. And so far, it's fairly well done. But it still suffers from the exact same problems that all adventure games suffer from, is that all the environments have all this stuff in it, like all these bookcases and, and books and paintings and lights and curtains and everything. And so the world is this, this beautifully rendered world with full of stuff, but then you can only interact with a very, very small subpart of it. So like, you know, look at this. There's like a, a, a wig and like disguises and, and like clocks and like you can't touch any of this stuff. You can't touch any of this stuff. And so... Oh, there's birds outside, you can't touch those neither. And so it's like, well, I mean, like, you know, it's, it's a very limited interaction that you have with the world. And so then when you, when you face a crime, there's like a very small number of evidence pieces that you can actually look at, and there's no duds. And so it's like, it's the sort of game that presents to you what seems to be a complete world, but what it actually is, is just a, a very, very small number of interacting elements and, and a lot of decoration at the edges. And that's the problem with all adventure games. Like when you play any adventure game, like you go in, you see this beautiful room, and then you can like click on five things, if that. And you're like, well, okay, well, like, like this world only has five things in it, that's crazy. Like if you think about it, it's kind of insane. But that's how the game is, like there's only five things in the whole world that you can actually touch. And so the, the logic kind of falls apart a little bit when you try to play games like that. But you know, it's okay, we're here for the story, I guess. So there are th three things, we can go to Whitechapel, we can go to Kensington Gardens, we can go to Westgate Jail. I suppose there's... I don't know if there's a sequence. Westgate Prison. I guess we'll just click on random things. This is kind of cool. Like they uh, they give you the. Here we are at the famous Westgate Prison, one of the oldest and shortest in the kingdom. I've heard that it is soon going to be demolished. Don't you find it strange that it still houses criminals as dangerous as Hans Schielman? There's nothing strange about it, Watson. The name of this prison is linked with numerous failed escape attempts. As long as it stands, the criminals will fear it. Yes. Good morning, gentlemen. Are you expected? No, but we wish to meet with one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. I'm afraid that at the moment that is impossible. 
Access to the cells is controlled strictly. You can't go there without permission from the director. Then would you be so good as to announce us? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. The famous Holmes and Watson. What an honor. My name is Brighton, Frank Brighton. I'm afraid that I can't announce you. I'm not allowed to leave my post under any circumstances. But I'm sure that the director won't refuse to see you, even without an appointment. Do you see the corridor behind the reception? Follow it to the secretary's office. You'll find him there. Thank you, Warden Brighton. Uh, one last thing. Hans Schielman received any visits lately? None. And I'm sure because I've dealt with receiving visitors for several weeks now. I volunteered because it's a calm post to be in. We don't get many visitors and it gives me time to write. Just like you, Dr. Watson. I enjoy literature and the... Po very good. Thank you. Don't, don't be like that. Let that was talk. very impolite, Holmes. That man admires our work. You could have given him another time. Let's go and meet the director of the prison. Maybe if you butcher him up, he'll tell you more stuff, you know? Even if you really hate people, Mr. Holmes, you should pretend to like them. Just so that they'll give you more stuff. Sorry, sirs. I'm on duty. I can't help you. Alright, bye. So we are going to the warden's office, low security level here. The music is strangely tense. This is the entrance to the ordinary prisoner's cell. There's no point in going there. <laughs> I mean, the game, the game lets you finger the door, but then it doesn't actually do anything. Adventure games, right? Uh, Cleaning materials, otherwise known as a broom cupboard. Nothing of interest here. All right. High security level. Let me finger this door, see what happens. Leads to the high security area, where the most dangerous prisoners are locked up. Closed. <laughs> I think we expected that. I don't know. Should I do this? Like, I kind of expected that to be closed. So, but you kind of want to finger Sorry, everything. Sorry, but this area is prohibited without a pass. Please leave. We All must right. see the prison director quickly. No, I'm going to touch everything. Alright, so... Do any of that. Let's finger every door. Closed. <laughs> yes, it is, Holmes. It is closed. It's <laughs> like we're supposed to be playing this crime solving genius. And I'm just doing the most idiotic things. Locked. I can feel a draft. This must be the access to the inside yard. Interesting. I mean is that useful? Do I need to know that? Closed. Entryway. Closed. It's this entryway though. Alright, we can't play with any of this stuff. Staff cloakroom. Alright, what can I Closed. Maybe I can get a disguise. Maybe I could disguise myself as a guard. The locker room. This is where the prisoners' things are kept. Good, let's go touch it. Closed. Hmm. It's closed, guys. Let us go to the secretary's office. Alright, well here we are. We did finger every single door along the way. Is she dead? Uh, good morning, miss. Oh, uh, excuse me, I dropped off. Good morning, gentlemen. What can I do for you? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We would like to talk to the director. I'll just go and see if he can receive you. Okay, go on then. Tiredness, pale face, stiffness. I believe that the young lady is expecting a happy event. It would seem so. I don't know how happy it is. He means having a baby, right? Is it happy having to squeeze a baby out of your... Um... Your, your body? 
is it? I don't know if it's a happy or not. This charming secretary is Miss Jenny Patterson. Wait a minute. She's not married? She's not married and she's getting pregnant. Unless happy event is something else. Unless she's, um... Never mind. Maybe just uh, stay civil and not say... This small rack is for urgent letters to be given immediately to the director. Well, can I mess with it? I mean, the game doesn't... Like, the game apparently thinks I need to do something here. The director's office. Mr. P. Patterson. No need to go in there. Strange. The director and the secretary have the same name. I'm delighted to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I am Paul Patterson, director of this establishment. You wish to talk to me? I hope this unexpected visit isn't to announce bad news. No, do not worry. We are investigating an affair of the highest importance, one which could potentially affect the security of the kingdom. Therefore, it is imperative that we interview one of your prisoners, Hans Schielman. Hans the Rat Killer? He's been in here for a long while now, and he's had no contact with the outside. How could he be involved in such an affair? That is what we would like to find out. And you have been commissioned by Scotland Yard? Evidently. <laughs> Evidently, really? Very well. I have complete confidence in you, Mr. Holmes. I will draw up a pass that you should give to Warden James in the guardroom. He will show you to the cells. Thank you, Director. Keep me informed of your progress. And if there is anything else, don't hesitate to let me know. We shall certainly do so. So, no one's going to find out that we're not actually here for Scotland Yard. Miss Patterson, you have the same name as the director. Are you related? Come, Watson. Anyone who might have made the slightest study of anthropology would have noted the similarities between the young lady and her father. Mr. Holmes is right. I am his daughter. But he doesn't like to talk about it. I think he's afraid of being accused of favoritism. I'm sure it was your qualities alone which secured you this position, Miss. Yes. If you must try out your powers of seduction, then what do you say about using them on the rat killer? <laughs> All right, bye. Goodbye, Miss. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm sure it was purely because of your qualities that you got the job to be the secretary for your father. All right, well, we're going to uh, chat with the rat killer. Hans? Let's call him Hans. No need to be rude. Just because he is a uh, mass murderer. So, did I actually try to go into the the broom cupboard? Closed. Okay, it's closed, guys. So, we are going to talk to these guys. Sorry, but this area is prohibited without a pass. Please leave. I'm pretty sure I have a pass. Isn't that a pass? How do I... how do I... how do I pass? Ah, you've got a pass for the high security area. It's the door at the end. Go ahead. Alright, so you... <laughs> Apparently, when you have your inventory item in the top right corner there, then you just kind of wave it at them automatically. It is potassium nitrate, isn't it? Yes. So, Peter or whatever. Used to make gunpowder. It is about the signing in book. The signing in book. This information board is almost empty. Strange, in view of the activity in the prison. Okay. Rather unusual. My name is Peter James, Chief Warden, and this is Deputy Warden O'Sullivan. I imagine I will find Hans Schielman behind these bars in the basement. Yes, the high security cells are down there. Is this the only access? Yes, there was a second door at the end of the main hall, but it's been blocked up as a security measure. Thank you, Chief Warden. At your service. If you require further information, Warden McKenzie will help you. He's at his post in the basement. Mr. Holmes, 
I am a huge admirer of yours. I have followed all your cases and successes with the greatest interest. What enthusiasm. Have you ever thought of a career in the police force? Have I thought about it? It's my dream. And I'm going to try my chance once this establishment closes down. I'm studying hard for the examination to get into police school. Is that a whip on the wall behind this? Why is there a, a, a cat of nine tails on the wall? Tell me about the prisoners, Warden James. We only have a few. As you might be aware, the days of this place are numbered. Therefore, we no longer receive new prisoners. Those who are already here are among the most dangerous in London. We have three at the moment. Hans the Rat Killer and the Flint Brothers. The Flint Brothers? Yes, two rather simple-minded maniacs who detest one another despite their relation. They massacred their parents and decapitated their neighbours. It took more than nine policemen to overpower them. All right. There isn't any information on the notice board. Should there be notes about duties? Yes, there should be, but Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard's assignments for this week yet. It's not like her. Usually, she does it first thing in the morning. Without these instructions, the guard in the basement won't be changed. I would go and get them, but I don't want the director to catch me there. He's very strict. He doesn't like us wandering around when we're on duty. And it will get his daughter in trouble. He's not being very pleasant with her at the moment. And I don't want to make things worse. So... You don't know who's supposed to be on duty, but then if you don't, that okay. Well, I'm not gonna pretend it's gonna make sense. How does not having the information about guard duty stop you from ensuring the watch in the basement? Because of the system of opening the doors, Mr. Holmes. As you can see, they are equipped with a mechanical timer which answers to a code. When the timer stops, that is to say, at the end of each watch. The doors block automatically and the code is reset. It is therefore impossible to open the doors without the new code. And who has the code? Only the guard who takes the new watch. He's the only one who can open the envelope that it's kept in. He learns it by heart and destroys the message. Very clever, but let's look at the limits of this procedure. One false note and the system falls apart. Okay. See you later, Mr. Holmes. I, I assume all this stuff is important. Look at, look at that thing on the wall. There's a whip on the wall. What on earth goes on in this prison? Alright, let's go look at everything. There's cards on the table. The guards must spend long hours here. Yes, they must. It is the guards' guest book. Perhaps for distinguished guests. Alright. And then there's rifles on the on These the wall. weapons are obviously ready to use in case of emergency. But what if uh, they're just sitting there on the wall? What if like a prisoner escapes and grabs one? Look at this stuff. There's whips. I mean, there's the the manacles and chains, but that that's just normal stuff. I don't know what the whip does. All right, let's just jog back and ask uh, the good lady about the guard timetables. Anything else, gentlemen? Apparently not. Apparently we don't do this. Alright. Never mind. I guess we're gonna go downstairs. I don't think there's anything else for us to do up here. 